What is up guys, it's Double Winning, and today I'm bringing you a ranked Renekton gameplay commentary. I apologize for no face cam, but I am a little bit sick, so I look a little bit bad, so I don't really want to do a face cam. So, um, in this gameplay commentary, I just kind of want to go over the fact that, um, well, coming back to ranked, I kind of suck. And it's been a little demoralizing because, you know, I like to put out uh, good gameplays for you um, that I to do my commentaries with, and it seems like... Every time I get a good gameplay, either my replay system doesn't work or something like that. And then every time it does work, it seems to be just a terrible game where there's either not much to learn from or just it's, you know, a bad gameplay or something like that. I don't know. Um, so this gameplay I thought was pretty good. I don't do exceptionally well or anything like that, but I do think there was a lot I could learn from it. Um, from using flashes incorrectly to just poor map awareness to using my skills incorrectly. Um, there were definitely a lot of things I could learn from here. And in my placement matches so far, I really do think I'm going to probably end up in silver or low gold. If I do end up in silver, I'll probably do like a little live series, um, of me trying to get out of silver because I did that last time I my placements put me in silver even though like I was platinum or gold before um so you guys will be able to see that and so watch this this is pretty funny oh god so embarrassing you know and if it's really embarrassing you know I gotta you know just repeat it a few times just oh yeah just bask in the glory of these flashes oh yeah oh yeah yeah so that was pretty embarrassing uh I was so frustrated at that point and then I was just like oh my gosh and so you can see at this point in the match, my score is one and three. I'm not doing too good, but I do know as Renekton, I can just provide a solid front line if I just get a little bit tanky. Uh, you know, all you really need is one damage item as Renekton, sometimes two if you really want to get that additional damage. But then you just kind of be that front line. You absorb damage, but you do enough damage that they can't just ignore you. And, uh, you know, you can also be a lane bully if, um, if that opportunity presents itself. So uh, in this game, um, there were three major things that I was messing up as. Um, Number one, map awareness. Um, there are multiple times in this video, if you go back, you'll see I had about a two, three second grace period where um, I could have saw them on the map coming up to gank me, but I didn't. So like right here, you can see I clearly don't notice TF until like he gets actually onto my screen. And so that's poor map awareness there. If I would have had better, better map awareness there, then I would have been able to save my W, which you guys can rewind the video to kind of see the W being used on Dr. Mundo when TF was on the mini map. So if I really wanted to like turn and burn, I might've been able to kill the TF with, you know, an empowered W uh, combo kind of thing like that. Um, another thing that I really needed to uh, improve this game was, uh, you know, kind of in the same line there was using my skills properly. Um, a lot of the times I felt like I was just use, you know, pressing buttons instead of you know using my empowered Q to make sure that I was getting an extra heal or using my empowered E to make sure I was shredding you know the front line for Jinx to do extra damage because it shreds armor um, or making sure I'm getting my empowered W on the right target so they're stunned for longer and I do more damage to the target. Things like that I really think I could have improved on. And Overall, just trying to die less. Um, number one thing in solo queue is if you can keep the morale of your team up, it helps a lot. And a big part of that is just not dying. Uh, I started this game one in four. Um, you know, I got an okay kill in lane, but four deaths is pretty unacceptable to get in laning phase. And I know a lot of you guys probably have teammates who go zero, six, and zero, eight, and bottom bot lane combined for one of, you know, 57,000 million. But like, you can't control your teammates. You can only control yourself. And so a lot of these games that I've been playing, I've definitely noticed there's, I mean, obviously my team, like my teams have, there've been some pretty bad teams. Obviously everyone gets those, but I always try and focus on things that I can improve myself. And that's something I definitely think you guys should uh, adapt to doing as well, because if you really want to improve, um, I have a little, you know, spoiler alert for you. You'll never get better teammates, you know, unless you're duo queuing. Um, and even then like, you can't really make your friends better in the middle, in the course of a game, you know? And so flaming your teammates or telling them don't feed or telling them, you know, anything really is not going to help unless it's a immediate actionable game plan. Uh, what I mean by that is things like, you know, calling a Baron, you know, or calling a dragon or calling group here, push this, do this if they do this. Um, so much reactionary play can just be replaced by proper planning in this game. It's incredible. You really don't need to have that great of reactions if you know what they're going to do. And I know that seems silly, but let's say there's a dragon up, there's you know a tower up, and there's like baron up, and basically what you do, and you're about to enter a team fight. 
what all you have to do is tell your team like if we win this fight do dragon so that way it's in their mind that way when you win the fight and you ping the sh nikes out of dragon they'll actually be like oh yeah he said when we win the fight we go to the dragon and then, you know, they won't be like, oh, well, I got to go do these Krugs or I don't, I don't even know the name of the new jungle camps, whatever. Um, and of course, you know, some of your teammates will still do that. A great example of that communication is right here. My team really wanted to go back and stop TF. And I told them instead we needed to force the 5v4 because we'd be giving up Dragon if we backed off and we'd be giving up a free tower and inhib. Because in this game, it's literally just laning phase, team fights, objectives, winning. Like, there's not much more to it, you know? So you just kind of have to focus on those things and do whatever you can to improve those things. So like right here, I click the inhibitor and I click the dragon. And guess what we're doing? We did the inhibitor. I lagged there, I swear, totally lag. And then we go and do the dragon. It's really, it's really simple. Sometimes I forget, the, you know, about how important this communication is. Also, that Ezreal ult did hit me. I did, didn't put it in the video because what I didn't really find that it was a useful point of time, but he did hit me. You know, I'm not trying to cut it out. But, uh, yeah, so it, communication is so key in this game, and I will find times where I don't communicate enough with my team, and it really shows because I'll just shut down. I'll be put on tilt, and a big part of communication is being a leader for your team. And what I mean by that is if you're dying a ton, your team's not gonna listen to you, it's simple as that. Even if you're the smartest player on your team, if you're one in five, your team won't listen to you most of the time. It's just how it is. So if you can protect yourself and try not to die, your team will most likely listen to you. So uh, Jinx and I both had the same idea of trying to end it here. Um, I get a little greedy there. I probably shouldn't have eat forward. I probably should have just let them do the damage because I would have had a little bit more health. I could have eat out. Probably would have had about 300 to 400 health. And then maybe I could have, uh, you know, uh, lived here, which, spoiler alert, about to get blasted. Boom, dead. Um, so we managed to get both the towers. We didn't quite get to end it, but that's okay. So basically what I tell my team here is that we can just slow roll um, slow roll down mid because they have no nexus towers. So there's nothing really physically that can stop us from just slowly pushing in and they have a lot of poke. So what we need to do is just slowly push in and then engage a fight. Or if they concede, like concede the inhibitor that we can get the inhibitor and then we, maybe they'll concede like the nexus to the point where we can just rush down or we can just push and then just kind of hope for what's best so in this situation here though we saw tf show up in the bottom side of the map so just like last time i'm trying to rally my team to actually fight this 5 before because it's going to be really easy once tf ports in he's probably going to port in on an awkward angle and then we can turn on him so watch here he teleported in so i jumped on him i kept him out of the fight because we actually have you know a front line other than just uh just me so I was able to take him out of the out of the fight for most of it. He comes in now, but now I've taken Ezreal out of the fight. So I think I played that fight pretty well. I was able to take their two carries out of the fight for the majority of it. They end up cleaning up. I'm pushing waves because I know that you know we don't we don't need to um, I don't need to go back into the fight. We're gonna push the inhibitor him ugh, inhibitor, and then we're gonna go ahead and push the uh, nexus, and we're gonna win the game. So. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, just kind of wanted to focus on communication in this game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay commentary. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And as always, guys, stay classy and keep winning. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my other videos that I've been uploading, we've got three videos. Um, I've got the I'm Not Dead video, which is basically just me talking about to me coming back. Uh, changes to League, which is me talking about the changes to League. And I have a Hearthstone aggro, aggro face warrior uh, video if you guys want to check that out. And uh, always, you know, feel free to leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace, guys.